Hi there, this is Caitlin Porter from the Mongoose Enablement Team. Welcome to part one of the Mongoose Hello World training series. My goal today is to provide you with some hands-on training and get you comfortable with working inside Mongoose. In this training series, we will be building a simple consumer UI application that allows users to select items and add them to their shopping cart. So, what exactly is Mongoose? Mongoose is Infor's application development framework. With its metadata-driven model, applications can be built with very minimal or no code. It allows for rapid development of applications that use relational databases. These apps can range from large enterprise software applications to small web portals. Mongoose enables you to build any combination of high productivity backends or beautiful consumer user interfaces. Users can extend and adapt the application to a virtually unlimited extent to fit their business needs. Most of the logic is stored as metadata instead of code, which makes any user extensions automatically upgradable. Applications within Mongoose can be easily upgraded and deployed in the cloud. Here is an example of a large enterprise software application built with Mongoose. This application utilizes an accordion menu for navigation, which allows users to navigate to different areas of the application. It also has advanced filtering capabilities and a high productivity grid that allows you to navigate through different employees. Another example is our Mongoose portal. This is an example of a small web portal with zero training UI that allows users to access videos and documentation built entirely with Mongoose. For this tutorial series, it is required that you have access to a Mongoose cloud environment within Mingle. For these videos, we'll be using the Mongoose web designer. To access it, select Mongoose from the app switcher within Mingle. Click OK to log in to the default tenant. Let's start by opening the user's form, which is a core form provided by Mongoose. There are a few ways to open a form. The first is by using Form Open and filtering to the form that you want to open. Alternatively, you can use the Explorer. In the Explorer, you can either use the Master Explorer or you can create your own shortcuts under My Folders. Expand all forms and you can browse to the user's form and double click to open. When the form opens, it will default to filter in place mode. This mode allows you to type in filter criteria into any field on the form. Let's filter to your user. Type in your email address into the username field. To execute that filter, hit the filter in place icon from the toolbar or you can press F4. We want to now set the editing permission for our user. By default, this will be set to basic. This particular editing level only allows our user to open and modify existing forms as their own user version of a form. In this demo, we also want to have super user privileges so we can open Mongoose core forms. To do so, check the super user checkbox at the top and let's change our editing permissions to be site developer. To save your changes, click the save icon from the toolbar. We're going to be using a form named IDEO Projects frequently, so let's create a shortcut to that form. Scroll to the top of the Explorer and collapse the Master Explorer. Click on My Folders and right click and do New Shortcut. Navigate to the IDEO Projects form and click OK. If you expand the My Folders, you'll see the IDEO Projects as a shortcut and you can double click it to open. This form is used to create an IDEO project, which is a logical grouping of business objects called Intelligent Data Objects, or otherwise known as IDEOs. Query the projects from filter in place mode by pressing F4 or clicking the toolbar icon as before. Create a new IDEO project by selecting the new icon from the toolbar. Notice a blue star will appear in the new row that was inserted into the grid. This means that it is a new record. Name the project Hello World and then click the Save icon from the toolbar. Let's open our User Preferences. From the menu, select View, User Preferences. Check the box that says Unload IDEO Metadata with Forms. Mongoose uses cache files containing metadata for forms and IDEOs that can persist between sessions to allow for faster form opening. 
During development activities, the user will frequently need to unload the global objects to get the most recent metadata. Select OK, and then to unload the objects, navigate to the menu, Form, Definition, Unload all global form objects to clear the cache. Let's get started creating a form. To do so, we need to open the designer. Click the toolbar icon to open the designer in a new tab. For this demo, we're going to edit at the site default level. Select site default and hit OK. Select the new form definition icon from the toolbar to open up the new form wizard. Once the form wizard opens, select new data as the category and maintenance as the wizard to open the new data maintenance wizard. This wizard will essentially create our table, IDO, and form all in one step. Give our IDO a name of customer. We're going to use our IDO project that we just created. Give it a table alias of CUST. Next, let's add the properties below. Hit the Add Row button to add three properties. The first one is going to be ID with a data type of string, a length of 50, set it as the primary key, set required to yes, and set the label string ID to SID. Then add name with a data type of string, a length of 100, and a label string ID of S name. Lastly, let's add address, data type of string, length 150, and a label string ID of S address. Then hit next and finish. Once this process completes, the table and the IDO have been created. Along with our table and IDO, we want a form. When you get this create form prompt, click yes to create our customer form. This will launch the new form wizard. This will allow us to create a form on top of our data source. Go ahead and use the data source we just created using the defaults. Hit next and step through the wizard accepting the defaults. When you reach the end, hit finish. Once the form's been created, you should get a notification saying the process completed successfully. Hit OK and close the new data maintenance wizard in the background. Now you should see your form is opened in design mode in a separate tab in your browser. I want to reposition my address field to the bottom. I'm going to highlight both the static and the edit component and move it towards the bottom. I want to change the component type on address. Click on the component and change the type to multi-line edit. I also want to make this field a little bit bigger. I'm going to click on the component and drag the corner out to make it bigger. Go ahead and click Save on the toolbar and you should get a message saying that the objects were saved. Let's open the form in runtime mode by switching back to our runtime tab and opening the form from the form open menu. The form should open in add mode since we don't have any data. Go ahead and enter in some test data so we have this for use in our application later on. You can use the new button on the toolbar to add each record. Once you're done adding your data, you can hit the save icon. Notice on our form that the address still says S address. This is because it's a new string and it needs to be created. Go back to design mode and click on the label. On the caption field, you should see an ellipsis. Click on the ellipsis and say yes to create the string value. Accept the default address or create your own custom string value. Once you hit OK and save, you can navigate back to runtime mode and reopen your form to see the newly created string value. Let's review what we just did. We first created an IDEO project named Hello World. This is a great tool for organizing and grouping together all of our IDEOs. We will utilize this more later on when we build our items and orders IDEOs as well. We then use the new data maintenance wizard to create our customer table and columns. These tables are stored in the app database inside Mongoose. Once the table was created, the new data maintenance wizard created our customer IDO, which holds all of the properties that link to the columns on the table. These IDOs are stored in the objects database in Mongoose. Lastly, we created a form using the form wizard that uses our customer's IDO as a primary collection. This allows us to bind our components to properties on the IDO. All the form's metadata is stored in the form's database in Mongoose. You can access all of the tables and IDOs directly from within Mongoose. To view the table we just created, open the SQL tables form. Type in the name of your table and hit the filter icon from the toolbar. If you click on the columns button, you can see all of the columns on our table. You can use this form to set table keys and indexes, add or remove columns, or to change any attributes on the columns. You can also use the IDO collections form to modify your IDOs. To view the IDEO we just created, open the IDEO Collections form. Type in the name of your IDEO and hit the filter icon. 
If you click on the Properties button, you can see a list of all the properties on the IDO. These properties link directly to the columns on the table. Here you can add references to other tables, create additional properties, or modify existing property attributes. Well that's it for part one. In part two we're going to explore more features of the Mongoose IDO functionality. For more information, check out the Mongoose portal at mongoose.m4.com. Thanks for watching!